Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are still continuing to walk these amazing areas that Aqua has built. So right now we are going to the Jet Ski Racing Arena, and guys, look at the building, look at the lettering, again, we're, instead of keeping all the walls flat, again, we are doing this pyramid, these pillars, all of this looks amazing. Again, we have a nice welcoming area where you come in, buy your tickets, sitting area, everything on point, just like the motorbike racing. And you know, and this is a great idea because sometimes we're trying to keep recreating new buildings and new buildings, but why not just branch it out, make it different. I love this hallway and look at the top of the fences, the tin fences looks really good. The middle path of this hallway, you know, with the decoration, again, really on point. And then I love this. I love that he continues to add all these instructions just like this, really great. You know, it's, it's just something, you know, it gives something more to the build, something more to look at. And at the same time, it's just fun. So have clever ways, guys, to write instructions. It's just, it's so cool. Okay, so then I just wanted to walk this area you know, we wanted to see, We I noticed right away we had the place where you get your first place, second place, third place. Of course, he did really good with the honey pass representing the gold, the iron representing the silver, and the hardwood representing the bronze. I think this is really cool, a really cool idea, especially you see the trophies on the back, you got the new balloons over here, and already the camera there, you got the spectators, you know, sitting there waiting to celebrate who won the race. And of course, we also have another seating over here. I love all the cameras, again, just like he did on the motorbike track. We got cameras all over the place. You know, we can, we are gonna be, re anybody can record this in every angle. And I think that's really cool. And also it really adds a sense of like, there's media or something behind this area. Okay, so now we're just gonna grab the jet ski and we're gonna take a tour. We're gonna see how he did this track so you guys can follow along if you need inspiration you guys can see the obstacles the way he made them and guys it's really cool you know so i love the feel right now right you're you're in between like you got one high wall one low one over here i like again right away obstacles with the rocks i think that's such a great idea and then the fire you know we gotta jump him, you know, and with the fire is tricky because if you catch fire, then, you know, the jet ski is gonna break and then, you know, you lose a little bit of time as you're racing, you know, but it's, it's really cool because, you know, it's all about skill, right? It's practice and waiting for the right time to jump the, the obstacles, right? And just like you saw right now, I caught on fire and I lost the jet ski. So here we go again, we're, we're jumping. I like ideas like this you know that you gotta pick the right track you know uh once you know the track you know which one to pick but it's that discovering feeling that very first time and i didn't make the jump i didn't make it so you had to like turn around over here but once you know which one it is you know and look at the fire again the fire is tricky guys if, if you actually do fire in the racetracks you know it it, it is tricky you, you got you gotta be careful you know when you maneuvering in all these areas again Look at all the signs. What do you choose? I love these ideas. I love that he makes all these other ways to get around the track and not all of them are gonna be good. Love this curve. Look how sharp the curve is. Like you gotta have real skills to do this real quickly. Then we got one pass one way, one pass the other way. I managed to pick the right path. So I was very happy about that. And then we continue and look at the, the water fountains. Look at, at the, all this little just extra. I love the one, uh, the one, the small fountains as obstacles and hurdles to jump. I think that's so cool, you know, and uh, you can make it. It's, it's just about timing. And I like all of these ideas. I like everything that he's using to make the track more fun. I like that you have to go through all this right here. You find the right opening and look at this. Love these obstacles. Just love all the fountains all over the place. And again, if you look on the side, if you look on all the areas, you know, as you're doing your track, you know, the tracks are going through part of your city, part of your town, you know, uh, you're seeing more stuff around it. And the great part over here is now we are gonna be inside. Slowly, we're getting inside the actual racetrack. 
area, you know, the one that we just did a tour on. And I think I like when people incorporate that into their builds, you know, like you got one racetrack over here, you got another a jet ski, and then you're meeting right here. All that we're going through right over here, all of this is the bridges that we saw during the motorbike racetrack. And I love that, I truly do. I like how everything is just tied in together, you know, you, and, and it's great because somebody could be racing in the jet ski, another person could be doing the, the racetrack, and then you just kind of just, I don't know, it, it, it just seems cool. The idea is great. I love that idea. So another inspiration, another way for you guys to really get inspired and, and look how fun it is, you know? Not all the tracks have to be so long. They don't have to be uh, really taking over a big map. I think the idea when you make motorbikes or you make jet ski racetracks is make the obstacles fun, you know? Have a lot of jumps, have a lot of hurdles, have a lot of ways to get in and out. Have really good curves, you know? Curves that you really gotta master in time and just go go around and wiggle around. I think all of that is what really makes racing, jet ski racing, you know, uh, motorbike racing, you racing very fun, you know? and. Now we are gonna go to another area of his town, of his island, and it's called the Hunger Games. And guys, he really did an amazing job recreating the beginning of the Hunger Games when everybody is just standing and everybody's gotta run and grab a weapon. And then you have the whole arena, you know, to do some PvP. And when, when PvP truly goes like that, you can use like all the weapons. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be really fun. But as you can see, we walk in here, right? And we got, you know, we got a waiting area over here. But one of the best parts that I really like is when we come on this side over here and look at the fountains. I mean, some, some of the work, look, I love this little fountain. I love the way everything is just decorated, right? But I like this training area that he has right over here so we grab a bow we grab our arrows and i love this i love this just for like it doesn't even have to be for a pvp arena you can do this for a fun mini game you can add this to your island for like to win prizes and be part of a like i don't know a, like a carnival or something like that i love this idea i love discovering where do we need to stand? How far do we need to be? You know, and as you can tell, I'm too close, right? I, I, I figure that I can be this close and start and I can shoot the arrows. But no, I, we, we got to learn. It's, it's kind of it's kind of like it's teaching you and I like it because it's like practice and you got to figure it out. Then we got the target and I was like, okay, wait, why, what am I doing here? What am I doing wrong? Then I figure I need to stand back. I need to step back, give some space, and this gives you at the same time an understanding. And there we go, we hit one. You know, this gives you an understanding on when a good way to practice and when you practice for PvP, you know, like how the mechanics work, how far you need to be, where like and you can kind of practice distance. And I really like that. I think this is a smart idea. The design is really great. It looks really good for a build, you know. And guys, if you love your bow and arrow, if you need to practice. Then you build something like this and look how cool it looks it's so nice you got all these lanes really good all the different uh scarecrows they're in different distance so i'm telling you it's amazing it's a good way to practice and to just do all of this and the composition is just really good it's just amazing design once again from aqua okay and then we're gonna go enter here i love all the arch archways just to make it feel a little more epic and trust me, uh, be careful, you know, uh, all the sign. Again, Aqua has done amazing design and writing the rules. And it's just so fun every time you read them. I just enjoy them. I, I just think they're fantastic, you know, and I'm not clever enough to do like signs like that. I just, I, it, I'm amazed what people come up with to write. Okay, so now we're walking down to the arena. We get into the place. We get into the place where, you know, the main thing in the Hunger Games movie happens and is the that initial where everybody's standing in a circle. They gotta run into the middle, grab the weapons, and then, you know, this is it starts the hunger the Hunger Games. And I like this right over here. Uh is is again more instructions really important and I, th I think it just it truly works the way he does it and then here we go we pick a platform 
I picked this platform right over here. There's the center, the center over there with all the crates, you know, all the weapons. You don't know what you're gonna choose. You gotta run into it. The good thing with this idea, you can always just, uh, you know, every time you start, you can put weapons in different crates so nobody can always remember where things are at. And then we go, and then we run, and then we gotta grab a weapon. And then, you know, quickly, 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 we gotta grab, and I'm grabbing this, and then we start running because you know, here we go. The Hunger Games start, and and you know, and, and we have fun. We, we we play a little bit. You know, of course, I'm not gonna leave it all in <laughs> because we we, we kind of play for a, a a little long time. You know, but it shows how fun an arena can be. The mini games that we can make. You know, with the PvP concept coming uh, in Dincom. You know, and more weapons and more stuff, and then maybe James has really cool uh, new additions. Maybe a paintball gun or any other type of, you know, fun fun things that we can do on PvP is, is I do believe it's gonna open an amazing door in the income for us to keep playing and just come up with new ideas, new designs, and new ways to approach this amazing game. But as you can see, you know, uh, arenas are fun to make. Some people love to make them. And what he made here today is truly amazing, you know? And when you go in this camera mode, when you're, when you're playing PVP, you know, it forces you to be in this particular angle. It's really cool the way everything looks, right? Like the palm trees, the archways, the, the pillars, the rocks. It just, it has the feel, it has this look. And then look at look at the, the whole arena. You know, we, we got canyons, we got cliffs, we got columns, the glowing motion giving you that little that little highlight, that little extra light, you know, and and it's truly wonderful. I really like this type of concept. You know, you can make it very complicated if you want to. You can make it as simple as you want. Look at the big map. All of that is the arena. I just think it's really cool and it's a good way to use part of your island, you know. We're gonna change it, we're gonna put it a little bit on the daylight so we can see how it looks during the day and look at how beautiful it truly looks. All the archways, all the stairs, the mushroom, you know, all the rocks, just the different elevations, just as you're walking, as you're checking, you know, is he did, he did such an amazing job. And this is not the only arena. We seen all the arenas that are just as good, just as amazing. But I love this one because it represents the Honda Games. Here it is, the beginning area with the circle, all the platform, where you grab your weapons. I think it's truly a cool idea because, you know, you don't know what weapons you're gonna grab. You could be really good at one weapon, but not good at the other one. So I like that. I like that idea. I like that thinking behind it, especially for a PvP game, you know? I, I, I think it just works really great. But as you can see, you know, look at all of this, you know, how beautiful everything it is, the pathing, the work, everything that Aqua has done to keep elevating the community, the games, what we can do, what we can make, it's just, it's truly amazing. And I love, I love every single moment. I love his creation. I can't wait to be here, to come back, and do the official island tour because everything that he's doing is truly amazing but guys you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit a like subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you next time all right guys see you later bye